All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So today we will be building a brooder for our new chicks that we hatched recently. This will allow the chicks to stay warm during this crucial time. Along with the brooder, we have designed a waterer and feeding system that are easy and convenient to use and fill. So make sure to stay till the end of the video to see how those were built. As always, if you guys like these types of videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Okay, so we put the eggs into incubator. So we put 24 eggs in the incubator and uh, now we are making today a brooder box uh, once the uh, chicks are hatched out we'll put it in the box uh, so for 24 eggs we're expecting at least 20 chicks we'll get so for 20 chicks we are making a brooder box that will be three feet by six feet so we'll make a base of three feet by six feet. Now, uh, these are two by four by eight. So two pieces I have taken. I will cut it into 69 inches. 69 inches because uh, uh, this will be long side and the short side I'll put over it. So short side will be one and a half inches each side. So three inches, so 69 plus three inches will be 72 inches which is like six feet so that is the plan so i'll measure from this side the 69 inches so i'm cutting this at 69 <laughs> So these two pieces are 69 inches and then we need uh, three feet 36 plus one and one three 39 inches two pieces 39 inches each so the base will be like this uh, six feet by three feet so uh, i need two three feet pieces, 36 inch pieces on the side, because this will go over these long pieces. The long pieces, 72, although the long side is 72, we need pieces of 69. So two 69 inches pieces and two 36 inch, inches pieces. And then the support in the middle will be 33 inches because of this width on two side. So 33, 33, 33. So we need three pieces, 33, two pieces, 36, and two pieces, uh, 69 inches. So uh, these two pieces, I cut 69 inches, two pieces I have cut. Now I have placed uh, uh, this one so that I cut pieces of, of uh, 36 inches. So I have two pieces 36 inches to 69 inches now I need three pieces of 33 inches uh, this will be two sides 30 inches each so we decided to shorten it because if I do 30 inches then actually we can use one eight feet by three pieces. So we got three internal 27 inches each piece and two 30 inches piece and this two 69 inches piece. Now we'll frame it together. So the frame will be something like that. This side is uh, six feet and this side is 30 inches. Initially we planned uh, three feet like 36 inches but changed my mind. I made it 30 inches so to reduce waste of wood. So now I need to make sure these are a square. 
So I'll use some tongs. I made some di these square cubes. Okay, so now if we put two right angle bracket to keep the angles at right angle. So this side is done. Now we'll open and put the bracket on the other side. So our square is done. Now we'll put the middle bars. So 36, 3 feet, 3 feet is the center, from this side 3 feet, also from this side it should be 3 feet. So this is the center and this center should match the center of this, same thing, 36 is the center, this center should match the center of the screen. We made the base frame, now we will cover the base frame with uh, half inch plywood. Um, I have a few leftover plywood, so I'm trying to measure these plywoods to certain feet. There will be several joints, but I don't want to paint for a new one. So we made, uh, we, we are uh, utilizing our scrap pieces, so we made this one went through full, but this one was short, came out of this piece. Uh, so what we are planning to do, we'll move this bar here to the screw and also we'll separate these into two compartments, so there will be an optional wall here, a bigger part for uh, grown up a uh, little bit like uh, older chicks and a smaller part for the younger chicks. So if we are hatching so 21 days, stay in the smaller part and then we'll move those into the bigger part because after three weeks it will grow older. So we'll move this to this side and then the new chicks will come and stay on this side so first three weeks on this compartment and next three weeks that compartment so after six weeks they will go to the real coop outside so this one is total uh, uh, six feet long but we made it this one is 42 inches the other side is 30 inches so 42 inches, so I uh, moved this uh, uh, support to 21, so 21 inch, 21 inch, and then this is 30 inch, so 15 inch, 15 inch, I put, um, uh, so that when we put this cover, this one is full, but there are two covers like this, so this one will fall over the start and also this one will fall over the start now idea is i'll put a separation wall here and that longer 42 inches size will hold the three week old chicks and 30 inch side will hold the newborn chicks the whole brooder will act as a transition for chicks until they, they can move to the coop outside uh, so i'll not uh, screw this right now i just measured and prepared it uh, but i'll put the legs first because if i put these attach this on the frame it will be too heavy to to handle so i'll just put the legs and everything frame once it is there we'll screw it later on so i have cut these, these two pieces each 36 inches long idea is it will be like this 
I want this frame to be about two feet above the ground, but I'll put wheels, which is about six inches from the ground. So I have 18 inches plus the wheel six inches. So 24 inches from the ground and then three inches, this, uh, this two by four, three inches height. And then remaining, it will be 15 inches. So it will be 15 inches above the base and 18 inches below the base. With the wheel, it will be two feet from the ground, this base and it will have 15 inches front and we will prepare the back accordingly with a 30 degree angle. So I'm putting a mark. This is 18 inches and then three inches. So 21 inches, both the legs. So I know where to screw. So I'll just screw this like this. Okay, so the side of the plan is like this. This is the base, say base has a thickness, this 30 inches base. Um, below the base, it is 18 inches and this wheel is six inches. So 18 plus six is 24 inches here. And then from here, 14 and a half. So this will be 14 and a half. Mm, this is 14 and a half so 14 and a half plus uh, three and a half uh, plus 18 total 36 so this is 36 now we, uh, this bar is 36 which is 18 plus three and a half plus 14 and a half now this bar we need to find this bar length so this angle is 30 degree we want to keep this angle 30 degree so the formula is uh, if this x is, uh, this length is x this is x root 3 and this length is 2x so we know that this length is 30 so if x root 3 is 30 then we find x is 17.3 so x is 17.3 um, so this length is 17.3 and this is 14.5 plus this is 3.5 this is 18 so this up to this is 36 plus 17.3 so let's calculate 53.3 so we need to cut this bar 53.3 this is 36 and this is 53.3. I've marked this length is 53.3 here, but uh, this will be cut at 33, uh, 30 degree angle. So let's put this miter uh, at, at 30 degree. We are putting it at 30 degree here. And then we'll cut this in a way. So it will start from here and it will cut like this so this angle will be 30 degree this will be put like this so this will be angled like this and then we have to cut 30 degree angle from this top as well so it will be one line We put this one here and this one here. So both are angled like this. So it will be like this from the side. As you can see, this matches when we we'll put the top cover. This will match. Both are resting on the ground. Although we'll put it up, this will go down, but this angle, 30 degree angle will match because we calculated this length. This is the whole structure. We have screwed uh, three legs, but the fourth leg we haven't screwed yet, just to make sure that everything is level. 
uh, we have put it on the floor and the legs are fine does not wobble now we'll put a level on on the base and check the level so let's put a level and i'm expecting it will be perfectly level as you can see it is perfectly level it is perfectly level so everything is perfectly level all the all the legs are on floor so i'm very happy with the setup we'll put another bracket under the under this like this mm, like this we were debating we could uh, put actually the bracket here shorter bracket but because we'll put a wheel underneath this if the joint is here the load will move the joint slowly so if it is like this then all the load will go to the this foot so it will not deflect i'm putting this two by four this and then the wheel will come here so height will a little bit increase because of this but that's fine i used a special angle clamp to hold it and now i'll put a screw and one make sure it doesn't screw the clamp We'll put the wheels now. So these wheels came with these screws, uh, very short. So with the nuts and bolts, it goes like this. However, our two by four is thicker than these screws. So we cannot use the screws really unless we drill a hole and then try to do so that is time consuming so in order to save time instead of screws i'm just putting these screws with a washer because the holes are very big i can just put a washer and then screw it like that um, i'm also using the same screw that attaches this so remove this and then put the screw back we have put all the wheels now as you can see it's uh, nicely moving now the plan is uh, put board all around plywood over it and then this one i want to make with a hinge here so it can come down for easy cleaning uh, the other thing is the board will be all inside so it will be one rectangle size this will not be inside so it will one rectangle it will be easy easy cleaning so we are putting the boards now so we are using pipe clamp so that we, there is no gap between the two board joints. Two screws, I think that's good enough. Now we'll move the pipe, pipe clamp to this side so this gap also closes. We'll put uh, a bar from here to there. So this should be about 2x. Uh, uh, like when we be a 30 degree triangle from here to here we found this should be x which is third 17.3 so this should be 2x which is 34.6 so let's see is what this one shows about 37 three quarters let's see on this same thing 37 three quarters so we'll cut a 37 three quarter and because this is angled we want it to cut the corners at 30 degree angle i had a piece that came off uh, from one of these pieces when i cut 30 degree angle this piece this came off so 
when I put it this becomes straight I just need to cut from this side straight to make this piece here so I just marked a vertical line here and then I'll cut this so I have two similar pieces that came from two sides I'll do the same thing for the other side we have uh, put another support in the middle where uh, the divider will put a divider here so this will be the smaller brooder and this will be the bigger brooder three supports now now we'll put uh, uh, plywood in the back um, so i'm taking measurement of inside which is 30 and a half height and this one we know is 72 yeah, it's 72 by 30 and a half but 30 and a half side will be 30 degree angled so I just mark for the back this is a 30 and a half I'm I put a line on 30 and a half and then this way it will be 72 so I mark full length and here also I mark 30 and a half and from there I did a full length so this part will be as a back but this cut will be 30 degree angled cut so it will not be a straight cut 30 degree angle cut I will put my circular saw blade at 30 degree angle and cut it this one we are cutting the length so I just use the circular saw uh, I put it at 30 degree angle the blade and then cut this side at a 30 degree angle Here, we'll put a bar here from here all the way there inside the, the bar will be inside but it will be cut at 30 degree angle again uh, one bar here and one bar in the back these are this will be 72 inches long bar but I don't want to use uh, 2 by 4 I will use 1 2 by 4 and cut at an angle in the middle so one half I will use in the back, the other half I will be used in the front. So we just leave a 2 by 4 at a 30 degree angle. So we will attach this like this and then we can add gate there. Similarly, we'll attach the other half on the other side. We need to screw this. Oh, cut these two pieces. So we'll use this uh, wood shavings. This is 100% natural pine shavings. So this is the material, pine shavings. Very absorbent, good for chicken bed material. So I had this flashing tape uh, lying around. So this is uh, a tape material that is used uh, when I replace my roof. It was uh, in the roof tiles, this is used. So what I will use is I'll put this flashing tape all around the bottom so it is easy to clean. And then uh, on the floor, I got these uh, paper laminate uh, tiles. So these are actually paper, laminated paper, and underside is a sticker. We can peel off and stick it. So I'll put these uh, tiles uh, on the floor here. So it is easy to clean. For this brooder, I wa want to make a small feeding system. Uh, this side will be three week. Uh, this side will be three weeks old chicks, and this side will be newborn chicks. So I will 
uh, for the newborn chicks i created this system a long pipe will go that will contain food and it will stay there and newborn chicks can easily eat from there uh, for the three week old chicks uh, i'll use this one so on the ground they will eat from there so i'll put the feet from top so i put six of these these are one and a half inch wise and these are uh, 90 degree angle and 45 degree angle one and a half inches uh, also i'll use uh, this uh, one and a half inch pvc abs pipe that i'll put like this uh, to create the feeder these pipes will be inside the wall so we can put the feed from the top probably i will remove these two by four so we can easily put feed from the top this 90 degree angle and this 45 degree angle i will connect these two with one inch long pipe diameter will be one and a half inch because these are one and a half inch uh, angles so the length will be one inch i have placed this wood for support at one inch gap so i will because i will make six of these i'll cut six six pieces of one inch pipe let's cut one and test always make sure you clean up this because we don't want the chicks to eat this abs plastic and then we can test it so put one side here other side there and that's it is connected so we need six of these pieces we don't even need uh, abs glue it will stay strong not moving anywhere now i have placed this uh, support at 10 inch like this 10 inch so cut 10 inch pieces so that uh, we can put the feed through these tubes so let's try one and check this was uh, my uh, original plan where uh, I would put a feeding box here with hole in the feeding box. So I put the feet in the box and this goes down here and um, the chicks will eat from those holes. But it needs a little bit more planning. So for the time being, I will just make a simpler plan. A box like this and a feeding system. Uh, so chickens chicks can eat from here and i'll put uh, another smaller box that where i'll put the seeds so let's build that one i'll just remove this for the time being so we have put the door it will open sideways so we've cut one piece and put one hinge actually these hinges are for the big doors for home heavy duty these were lying around at my home so i didn't go and buy smaller hinges otherwise smaller hinges would fit in uh, on these two by fours since these are big hinges i put only one hinge and i had to put add these uh, small two by two uh, to accommodate the screws of the hinges so i'll use this uh, now um, this will open sideways to side but as you can see there is a little bit of gap which i will put a wood inside uh, a little bit of plywood strip inside so when it closes this gap will close so i have to put uh, a door handle but it will open like this i put a two inch wide plywood here just to close the gap so here there was a gap between the hinges so when the door is closed the gap will be closed same thing we'll put another two inch bar there to close the gap
Now I am building a frame for uh, a net here. I will put uh, hardware mesh. So I have cut these pieces for the frame. These are 30 degree angle both side. So I put like this. So uh, this is vertical not angled. I put two side uh, 30 degree angle. Now this piece also I have to cut uh this corner so it becomes vertically aligned with that so what i have done is i have marked this here after putting it here so i have to cut this corner at 30 degree angle now i will use the table saw i put uh, this uh, blade at 30 degree angle and as you can see this mark i'll put this like this so it will cut off that 30 degree portion. Now I'll try to put this here like this. So as you can see, it matches. I'll make it a frame. I'll cut another piece and then screw this together and then put the hardware cloth. So as you can see, we uh, created the frame of the top cover now we'll put the hardware cloth here um, this is uh, 36 inches by 100 feet uh, hardware cloth uh, also this is uh, plastic coated so rust resistant we'll staple this hardware cloth i put the frame like this now i'll put uh, two hinges in the back so it can be opened the same hinges that i bought for my door i'll use the same hinges because these were lying around at my home and then i'll put another hinge on this side for the opening the door we'll put two door handles side by side um, cabinet door handle but we have also put this piece so it goes like this i just put a piece that goes inside and then uh, we can close it so we can put only one latch and this one we won't open because this one is plugged by that piece so one latch will work for both the doors so our uh, brooder is semi-complete is still not complete because i haven't put uh, the partition and i haven't put the feeding system yet but our chicks are growing already 12 days old so we want them to transfer here from the cardboard box so i will just put the pine shavings in and transfer the chicks here so this is our pine shaving We'll put it now. Let's use this door to put the pine shavings. I transferred uh, my 15 chicks here. Uh, they will spend the night here. I need to uh, arrange uh, food and water for them. For the waters, I'll put two on this side and two on this side and put it on a corner so four of them uh, can drink i also got a different kind these are i just put the hole and uh, tighten from the other side uh, but these are with pvc pipe but i have to have the pvc pipe and angle system to build this so this will be a permanent solution and this will be movable solution for the night i'll make these for them so each one came with this i'll drill a hole and just put this and tighten from the other side there is a washer to stop the leak so i got a three eight inchy hole like if four holes now this is washer here i just put it in connect it 
make sure it is tight enough so water does not leak and the other thing is uh, these all should be at the same level so that's done this is the diagram um so this is 14 inch this is 17 inch and then this is about six inch so the chicken feeder will be like this so this will be a hinged cover we can open and put the feed here and then there will be like a tray opening all the feed will be here and chicken will eat from there this is seven to seven and a half inches so that's what we are building now this measurement i decided based on the availability of my wood so i had this piece of wood i want to make this from this piece so i have taken 14 inch by 16 and a half this piece will be the back and then same size for the front although this will be shorter because i took 14 inch from there i took also 14 inch from there so these two pieces will be front and back for for the sides which is like a l shaped and um, i'm dividing this i found the center from center i took two inches which is this tray where the feed will be so i took two inches and i drew a line now now this height will be about four inches from the ground uh, for the chips so i took four inches and i drew this line also four inches from there so i will cut this piece like this l shape and the other side i'll cut from here l shaped this piece so i'll i'll get two sides from here and this crossed out will be waste so one l shape like this the other l shape like that this will be on the two side and this will be back side this panel will be front side now since i am making a slope from the front and back so that the chicks cannot stand over it and poop on it that's why i will cut the bottom piece from here so the front piece will be shorter so bottom piece will be from here and front piece will be very shorter so basically our container size will be this much plus the width that's much food we can put in together so let's go and cut it So I have cut this and this with a table saw. Now I have to cut this and this. So I'll first make a mark with this table saw, uh, with this miter saw, and then I'll use something else. <laughs> So I'm using this to cut. I can't find my jigsaw. I could use, I could just drill a hole and then use jigsaw to cut this. But uh, my workshop is a mess. I need to organize things. Now I can find my jigsaw. So I'll just use this 
So I found my jigsaw and I just went like this and cut it. So the next one is easy. So it will be like this, the design. The back piece will be like this. So you will hold this. This way. The front piece will go like this. I will cut this out so the grains can come out. So the front will be sloped because I will cut a piece off like this. And then I have to put another wood piece, fine. Find another wood piece to cover this. That's it. And we can put the grains from the top. Since these are half inch plywood, um, if I uh, count two side thickness, it will be half plus half one inch. Uh, now, if I subtract one inch from this six and quarter inch, I need five and quarter inch width. So that's what I am doing. I am doing five and quarter inch. So these are the two front and back pieces. So I'm cutting from the front piece five and quarter inch, which I'll use as back. So five and quarter inch. I'll cut it in my table saw. This is the two inch gap. I'm putting two inch gap here, front piece. And this will be the slope from back to front. So I'm marking this one and then I can miter saw it just like this. So it will be like that. I'll just cut it on my miter saw. So this is the final look of the brooder. Uh, the birds are happy inside. Uh, I have added few modifications here. This uh, roosting bar for these chicks, as you can see, they are up on that roosting bars. Roosting bar. These two I have put uh, two by three from behind, so I can attach a heat heating lamp in two different heights. Uh, then I have added these. So these clamps can be put like this to keep this window open like this. Uh, also, this, uh, this can be done either this way or since this uh, window is a little bit bigger, this can be used and that can be used from both sides. I have used temporarily plastic uh, feeder and I have been experimenting with the water system. I tried different like cups uh, and water uh, from the store. Uh, uh, nothing worked, everything uh, eventually leaks or they spill too much water. So. I finally came up with a temporary solution. I, I found these uh, nipples uh, on this ice cream container and it is working perfect. There is no leak, no leak in water and they are easily got used to this and water is clean inside. But I am thinking to build another 
waterer with a more permanent solution like a pipe or something. All right, guys. So that was how we designed and built our chick brooder along with a waterer and feeding system. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to ask in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to check out our previous video where we review the Vivor egg incubator and hatch chicks. As always, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.